the point about this whole campaign is that take a look at this picture this picture is of the Patan Darbar square and what each one of us Nepalese have to understand is that when the Patan Darbar square was being built there was no country called the United States of America okay the last structure built on that Darbar square was 1618 but today to repair this square we are getting aid from the United States of America we're getting a grant from the US Embassy okay now if that hurts you and and if you start asking you closer yes then I think we are going to have a really good conversation okay so let's look at the next one this is a quite a typical picture of Pasupati but almost a hundred years ago now the year is 1924 and which is about hundred years ago Nepal abolished slavery and in 1924 was there a UNDP down the street when was the UN established 1950s okay were there INGOs in Nepal were there NGOs in Nepal no so how did Nepal abolish slavery in 1924 by using funds from the Pasupati temple so it is the temple of Pasupati that abolished 62,000 slaves in Nepal so today why do we need the UN to abolish child labor you know or any any problem that we have okay we have to think uh, in terms of you know those things okay now anybody went to business school here how many of you went to a business school okay so the first thing they teach you in business school is the success of any business is location 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 look at Nepal's location is that a bad location to be and is that a bad place to be so here you have a billion people to the north whose economy is growing at 11 percent per annum and you have a billion people to the south whose economy is growing at nine percent per annum so if you take two glasses of hot water and if you put one small glass of cold water in between how long will the cold water stay cold so physically some bobs are so whether you like it or not the three glasses will reach the same temperature whether you like it or not so for how long can this country claim to be a poor country okay it's just simply not possible you cannot be surrounded by growth and have a negative you know area in between it's just physically funny it is not you know, possible so you know we can give many examples like that but having said all those things why did 40,423 young people leave this country last month so jet my name is Charlie Cesar Charles a tease and a Nepal ele hoi that's order be this gas okay and so this is an oxymoron I know so it's just like the petrol lines outside how come there is a shortage of petrol and there is a traffic jam so very difficult to understand in a kid or bar to call you know the petrol on the so how can you have both and so the same thing you know on the end, one hand we're saying we're a rich country we can be prosperous on the other hand everybody is leaving so these are the kinds of questions that we have to try and answer okay a philosophical question if you look at this scene it's a very amazing and quite a common scene where this young girl is lighting a lamp okay no matter how many lights you lamp with, light with that one lamp will the original light get any smaller just see your mind by if I light thousand mind by this will the first mind with get smaller will the light become less the candle will get shorter but the light will not get smaller okay so if I help 30 million Nepalese you know will I lose my knowledge will I lose what I know okay but the perception is if I have 10 rupees and I give you 5 rupees then I have only 5 rupees but if you give knowledge if you give skills if you give all those things what happens everybody can grow okay and just like the candle that's also very fundamental to what we have to understand is in the long run we will all be dead okay? there's no such thing as living forever what's wrong with this picture yeah. okay so now the question is if the answer to every question that we have is somebody Nikaile Gornu Parsa you think we are going to get any better off you somebody Nikaile Koyle Gorni Koyle or somebody Nikaile when you go okay so is this the somebody Nikaile that's going to solve all our problems and so there again we have to really understand that unless we take charge just blaming this guy is not going to solve our problems okay so that's something that we also have to understand now when we showed him this picture this was his reaction okay now what does it say about this guy he's probably a nice guy you know are we against multi-party democracy here no are we against democracy no are we against political parties no 
Are we against the people of Elam who elected him? No. So by challenging the system, are we then saying we are anti-democracy? No. So this is also something that we have to really understand fundamentally. Because every time you try to put up a question, and if the question is put up effectively, you can easily be labeled as anti-democratic. And your system is not going to be Or these guys are royalists. They want to go back to the old system. So these accusations will come. And so it's very important to understand that. Yes, we have weaknesses, but we fundamentally still believe in the system that brought this guy into power. Okay? Next one. Look at this picture. So this is your average Nepali. At the football stadium, look at what he's done. He's probably marked up the price of Momo by 200%, if not 100%. And look at his billboard. So he's going to do very well as a business person. There you have a true entrepreneur in Nepal. Okay? Do you think he's ever going to go hungry in his life? No. So here we have a country of real entrepreneurs who know how to do their business. Ne? And they know about pricing, they know about advertising, and they know how to make a living. So we have to believe in this average Nepali to also bring change. So not just the people up there in power. This is also an interesting slide. Ne? It just says basically, because I switched to ginger farming, I'm making more money than going abroad. But if you talk to these guys and say, why is the ginger farmers not doing too well in this country? The only problem they tell you is that they have to take their ginger all the way to Kakarbita because that's the only place where there is a quarantine. Is that why we are poor? Ginger go through demand, sir. You know, we can export ginger, but you have to make quarantine, sir. Is this the problem that we cannot solve? You have the unsurmountable problem, though, you know? It just requires some management whereby we organize these people or we organize with them and solve that small problem of opening quarantines. So ginger would make us rich. And so this is a Himalayan you know, Times coverage of you know, our campaign and basically says social sites herald change. Why? Because when the numbers of likes you know, goes from zero to say 6,000, 7,000 very quickly, then you know that people are buying into that idea. And so the media then takes notice of that and so the media then helps spread that message as well. Okay? So it's a perception that something is happening. Okay? So Ujol will tell you, Nepalese, when they are stuck, we look for some platform, and usually there is no positive platform to go to, so they end up in a negative platform. So But if we could actually offer people a positive platform, and if we had that choice, we are quite sure that most people will choose the positive platform. So a good example would be the rally against Nepal Band. So all it does is basically on the Facebook, Boli Nepal Band, sir, we're going to meet at 10 o'clock in Tamil and we're going to defy the band. So you see, you're giving a positive message, but you're also giving people a chance to respond positively. So negatively, I know. Okay? So on that basis, just try to understand a simple design for this campaign. In any society, if you take two extremes of that society, on the one hand, we have to make people accountable, but that's not enough. On the other hand, we have to make people responsible. So, you have responsibility to responsibility and you have accountability to be And probably the nice space that Nepal wants to be is somewhere in between. Where each one of us is responsible, but the system is also accountable. So, I also should take the responsibility of segregating the garbage so that it's easy to sell back into the coward market. Okay, you see how the two needs to work together. Okay, that's very critical. Now, you know, a organizing tool. So, Badavaran Divas Ayo, what do we do on Badavaran Divas? So, Neil Pandey, our dentist doctor, come up with the idea, why not make a big kucho with 601 sinka? So, chose ek wada sinka bhaiya ko chai kucho banayo. And so, we swept the area around Baranesor. And what was the sound bite we gave them? We'll clean in outside Baranesor, you clean inside. So, bedra ko phoar chai, timi sabha gara, bairo ko phoar chai, hami sabha gara And so, how was it organized? Simply through this platform. Okay, so it's a very easy way to put up ideas and do it. Now look at how viral these things can be. Okay? So what does it take for an idea to spread from Kathmandu to London? Almost nothing. So you don't have to fly there, you don't have to do anything. It's a very simple technology and our young kids in London have already picked it up. And so every Friday they organize themselves around the Nepal embassy. And so that's what they do. Nepal unites in London. So currently we have Nepal unites in Sydney and then Nepal unites in Morang and Sundays woman the Nepal Unites is going to have a silent march in 5.30 in Pokhara. 
So key chain sir, to go from Kathmandu to London, London to Morang, Morang to Bogra, doesn't take much. So it's a very easy tool by which replication or scalability can be attained. Okay. So why is the football game very important? Because sports unites Nepal. Okay. So music unites, sports unites. Okay. Hating India unites. If I say anything against India, Nepalese unite. But is that something that we would like to promote? No. So we purposely have to be very clear on the messages that music unites, sports unites, but India unites, but we don't want to use that. Okay. So these are all conscious decisions that are made part of the campaign. Okay. Now this is probably exploitary because one way to get into the media is of course to get four Miss Nepal's lined up. Right? And as long as they're holding our slogan, the media takes pictures of them. But I think because they don't want to be guilty of just taking Miss Nepal's, so they also put me and Ujol there. <laughs> because if we were only standing there, they would never take pictures of us. I know, but if you're standing next to all these Miss Nepal's, we also get into the media. So is this done on purpose? I think so. Is this done subconsciously? Maybe. You know, but it's a way to get into the media. And so then the readership, the approach also increases accordingly. Okay? So this is also very interesting. As you drive downhill you know, through the Himalay Hotel, so the basic plan is that we would volunteer and we would cover up the Nepal divides slogans at night. And then during the day, our young artists will come and paint pictures that will unite Nepal. So the divide garden slogan nikal no poryo, or unite garden painting sa no poryo. And so if you stop or go a little slowly past the Himalaya Hotel, just look at the vision, the nice stories that are now painted up, because that gives you a positive message. So the agadi slogan kosto diyo. They were all dividing slogans, you know? So these are again actions which will basically lead to our goal, but this becomes a means. But then again, where is it advertised? On the Facebook. Okay. We need more paint. So how are we going to connect with a paint company? Through Facebook. So the means becomes the, the Facebook. You know? So just you know, quickly to wrap it up. So we are saying Nepal is powerful, Nepal is beautiful, we have a lot of resources, but the young people are leaving this country because they feel negative. You know? So who is filling up that space? Who is filling up that space where young people have left? So it's going to be children. So today child labor is one of the biggest problems because that vacuum has been created. Come to there is just try to hire a labor for a day job in your home. You'll probably end up paying 600, 700 rupees. So who's replacing that job is child labor. Now the point that we really have to understand is that if this generation of children don't get to go to school, believe me, in 10 years time, we'll have another conflict. And so don't you know, ever hesitate to think that if you don't act, the future is quite bleak. You know, because they will carry guns you know, again. Okay? Now look at the expression on this girl's face. Dinbar school gara rati hai na ita bokera saazma ita bokera she makes living with her parents. Now is that an acceptable picture? It's not. But look at the power of the image also, right? We can easily instigate every Nepali to say this is not acceptable. But then what we are also saying is you know, this would be if that girl could grow up to become a Nepali football player, you know that would be wonderful, right? So then the question becomes what is the space that you and I have where we can actually work? Okay. So that's the last picture. So let me just conclude this. Okay? So the campaign is very simple. It just says Nepal unites. Okay? Now we've had a lot of discuss discussions. Is that the name of an NGO? Is that the name of a development agency? You know, is that Kyo? And so what we all agree is that Nepal unites is action. Nepal unites Okay? There are two aspects that you have to understand. So one is to hit on the accountability. So for example, Jara Jalapura Lyo, Samidan Deo. So that's an accountability. Toro Gaira, four Sabhagarne, Asa Dhal Sabhagarne, Asa Rukropne. Okay? All these actions should be responsibility. The second aspect of it is you can be individually a great person, but we would like to shift it from individual to collective. We are doing wonderful things. But how do we as Nepalese do things collectively? So again, shifting from individual to collective. So that's also a, a, an aspect of this. Okay? So the point again being that it can be done. But the one variable that we all have to agree on is that it will all happen if Nepal unites. Okay? So that's the message that we would like to get across.